Greetings and welcome back to the Oxford Division Model Railroad. This is a new series in another type of research for your model railroad. In this series, I'm going to be talking about Sanborn insurance maps, something that is a very valuable resource. A lot of people know about this, but I think it's largely untapped with most of the model railroad audience. I first used them with the early 1990s in University of Minnesota in the history department. I had to become a member and then go through a microfish machine. That's no more. Now everything is available online with your computer or cell phone at home with the Library of Congress having the complete Sanborn Insurance Map collection in its archive digitally converted ready for you at your fingertips you don't even have to log in just point your browser library of congress and you'll find it sanborn maps are a kit basher's secret weapon once you start exploring sanborn maps you're going to realize that they give you the three major types of building construction concrete wood and block they give you the overall length and width and height and it shows the footprint for you so you can figure out what you can do on your own layout within your own space. It'll also show the track, not real accurately, but since most model railroads have to fit something into their layout in a unique way, having the exact track plan is probably not going to work in your situation anyway. So, in this series, I'm going to go through the possible industries I can put on this layout here in the basement. The ones I'm modeling are all gone today. Only two of them have minor vestiges of what was left behind. The rest are completely, virtually gone. But Sandmore Maps allows them to come alive and allows us to figure out what and how we want to model them. I've always encouraged people to consider a prototype building because number one, there's going to be a wow factor when visitors first come to your layout. They're not going to expect it. And they are going to be pleased with it because you never have to explain why this little bitty industry is being rail served. No, it'll be self-explanatory. Every little kid will figure that out even. So, as I go through each industry, it'll be a separate video and highlighting what it did, where it's going to be on the layout, and I'll even be able to supplement with a few historical photos and aerial photos uh, as we go through this series. So, I cannot overstate this enough, even beginner's layouts will look more impressive with only one or two large industries, and there's a bonus. With fewer industries modeled in a certain way, being large, especially vertical, there's room for interesting track work, and I don't know any model railroader in the world that doesn't appreciate interesting track work. So let's begin. <music> 